Hi everyone. HMS Unicorn is a surviving sailing frigate of the successful Leda class, although the original design had been modified by the time that the Unicorn was built, to incorporate a circular stern and small timber system of construction. Listed as part of the National Historic Fleet, Unicorn is now a museum ship in Dundee, Scotland, the United Kingdom. She is the oldest ship in Scotland, one of the oldest ships in the world, and one of the last intact warships from the Age of Sail. Launched in 1824, HMS Unicorn is the most original old ship in the world. Originally constructed as a 46-gun frigate at Chatham Royal Dockyard, Unicorn arrived in Dundee in 1873 as a training ship for the Royal Naval Reserves, a role she carried out until the 1960s. HMS Unicorn is still moored on the city's waterfront and is now the oldest ship left in Scotland, as well as one of the six oldest ships in the world. Designing HMS Unicorn Although ordered in 1817, the ship's progress book shows that construction did not begin until February 1822. Unicorn's keel was laid down on slipway number 4 at Chatham Dockyard, Kent, and the ship was launched into the River Medway on 30 March 1824, requiring around 1,000 oak trees to build and costing over £26,500. Unicorn was designed to be an agile and powerful vessel, with a complement of 300 men required to crew her. Dating from the early 19th century, HMS Unicorn was constructed at the height of the Industrial Revolution and her unique design features elements of both wooden and iron shipbuilding. Surveyor of the Navy from 1813 to 1832, Sir Robert Seppings was a great innovator in ship design and the key architect behind HMS Unicorn. Seppings embraced the new technologies of the Industrial Revolution and increased the use of iron in the construction of Royal Navy vessels. Due to the work of Seppings and the advancements of the Industrial Revolution, Unicorn carries several innovative features on board. The ship contains early examples of iron work including diagonal bracing straps through the hull and iron knees which support the decks. This iron work strengthened the ship and produced a more rigid structure. Unicorn's unique elliptical stern, an innovation of Seppings, is the only example left in the world and provided a greater arc of fire to the rear of the ship. Although built for war, Unicorn spent her early life in reserve or ordinary. Following the ship's launch in March 1824, the Admiralty Progress books record that HMS Unicorn was housed fore and aft. It was at this point that the Royal Navy added the ship's distinctive roof, to preserve the vessel for a potential future commission. As a result of this continuous protection, Unicorn is now the most original historic vessel left in the world. Anchored on the River Medway until the 1850s, the ship formed part of Britain's formidable naval force which helped to maintain the Pax Britannica or British peace of the 19th century. With the fall of Napoleon in 1815, Britain became the world's largest imperial and military power. This global dominance continued until the outbreak of the First World War in 1914 and was marked as a century of relative peace in Europe. As a result, the period became known as Pax Britannica. Britain's dominance was mainly due to the strength of the nation's navy. It was this deterrent force that HMS Unicorn was held in reserve to support. While not sent out as a fighting frigate during her years in ordinary, Unicorn was given alternative roles. Between 1857 and 1862, the ship was loaned to the War Department as a powder hulk. Anchored at Woolwich on the River Thames, Unicorn stored huge quantities of gunpowder for the Royal Arsenal and was cared for by shipkeeper James Middleton, who lived on board the powder hulk with his wife and children. Coming to Dundee In April 1862, HMS Unicorn was moved to Sheerness Dockyard and laid up in ordinary once again. With the rise of ironclad ships and steam propulsion, Unicorn's potential as a fighting frigate had drawn to an end. However, only a decade later, Unicorn was given a new life 400 miles north in the growing industrial city of Dundee. 
Dundee required a new training ship for the city's Royal Naval Reserves, Britain's Voluntary Naval Reserve Force established in 1859. As a result, HMS Unicorn left her home on the River Medway and was brought north, arriving in Dundee on 9 November 1873. Leaving Sheerness on 5 November 1873, HMS Unicorn was towed up the east coast of the UK by paddle sloop Salamander. When the ship arrived in Dundee, she was placed in her new berth against the southwestern wall of the Earl Grey Dock. She remained in this spot for 89 years, only being moved in 1962 for the construction of the Tay Road Bridge. In her new role as a training ship, HMS Unicorn was fully refitted and given a host of modern weaponry, including a 9-inch 100-pounder smoothbore gun. When the Dundee Courier and Advertiser reported on the refitting of the ship in 1874, they commented that, Unicorn has internally been almost entirely transformed from a dirty, dingy, and disorderly state to one of cleanliness, cheerfulness, and first-rate order. From 1874 to 1968, HMS Unicorn spent almost 100 years in the service of the Royal Naval Reserves and Royal Naval Volunteer Reserves. Unicorn was converted from a Georgian fighting frigate to a fully equipped drill ship for Dundee's Naval Reserves, the largest naval reserve unit in Scotland. Her century as a naval reserve ship saw thousands of recruits train on board, including over 1,500 from the Women's Royal Naval Service, WRNS. In the 1960s, the Admiralty considered breaking up HMS Unicorn and scrapping one of the few survivors of Britain's sailing navy. In order to preserve the ship for future generations, the Unicorn Preservation Society was formed. On 26 September 1968, HRH the Duke of Edinburgh accepted the ship from the Ministry of Defence on behalf of the UPS, in whose care she remains today. Since 1968, the Unicorn Preservation Society has worked to preserve HMS Unicorn for the benefit of current and future generations. The UPS is currently working on plans to move the ship into the East Graving Dock in Dundee, securing HMS Unicorn's long-term preservation in a purpose-built dock that will house the historic ship. Thanks for watching.